Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. Today we have a new topic in fluorides. So that is topical fluoride methods. So basically there are two methods to apply fluorides. One we have covered already that is uh, systemic methods. So that is like we consume fluorides by any uh, as any compound or through uh, water fluidation or through salt or uh, milk so it enters our blood circulation and get the benefit so it goes to the teeth and uh, bones and it replaces the ions uh, in tooth it replaces hydroxyl ions and makes the enamel lattice very stronger so by it creates a uh, caries protective enamel uh, that is the mechanism of uh, systemic uh, fluoridation or how the fluoride uh, helps to, to prevent dental caries or a better tooth compared to the uh, non-fluoride uh, that tooth without any fluorides so whereas in topical methods it is entirely different because teeth has completely mineralized so we are applying the topic uh, applying the fluorides on the surface so this can be applied uh, after the eruption of teeth but uh, the systemic uh, fluoridation methods can be uh, done or can be uh, performed even before the eruption of teeth so it goes to the teeth structure while it getting formed so teeth eruption happens uh, very late because most of the teeth that is up to second molar get mineralized by the age of six or seven but the second molar erupts at 13 or 14 age so systemic fluoridation should be done before six to seven years and uh, topical we can do at any time mostly we do on the recently erupted teeth okay so by definition topical fluorides uh, are the delivery systems which provide fluoride for a local chemical reaction to the exposed surfaces of erupted dentition So the indications are caries active individuals, uh, recently erupted tooth and people taking radiation therapy that can affect their salivary flow and uh, periodontal surgery where the roots are exposed. So how can this topical fluorides uh, be applied? So basically it can apply it via a profession like a professional can do it. Uh, if we go to a dentist and we can uh, do from our home itself so topical fluorides professional application was introduced by bb in 1942 so we know in systemic fluorides we give just one ppm or four or five ppm not more than that but here we are giving 5000 to 19000 ppm which is uh, equivalent to 5 to 15 milligram fluoride why is that difference because in systemic is giving at very low concentration as it is entering into our bloodstream and it is affecting the mineralization stage of tooth but topical we are giving on the top or the on the surface of the teeth where we are using the post mineralization phase you basically a tooth has pre eruptive mineralization and post eruptive mineralization so 90 percentage of the total mineralization belongs to pre eruptive so we are utilizing systemic fluorides by this pre-eruptive mineralization and just 10 percentage 
post eruptive mineralization is the topical fluorides target so we need to increase the ppm to very high <laughs> then only we get a net effect of 1 ppm because 1 ppm is the optimal effect to prevent dental caries so if topical fluorides needs to be at a net effect of 1 ppm it should be given at very high range because we are giving at a topical side and more than that just 10 percentage utilization of the post eruptive mineralization okay so that is professional application self-application we commonly use uh, dentifices most of the dentifices as uh, fluoride and we can use mouth rinses gels so it has uh, basically less fluorides compared to the professional that is 200 to 1000 ppm but still it is very high compared to the systemic circulation so the reason i already explained to you it was invented by bb in 1942 so what are the basic sources of topical fluorides the first one is toothpaste mouth rinses professional applied gels forms rinses and even our saliva as fluorides so toothpaste we can uh, applied while uh, brushing mouth rinses like gargling we can do gargling foams uh, can be applied by professional uh, gels can be painted or using a mouth guard so fluoride vehicles how professional application of fluoride done is using a fluoride vehicle that is aqueous solution and gel so the property of gel is which adheres to the teeth and eliminates the continuous wetting if it is a solution we need to continuously wet the tooth but if it is a gel it adheres to the tooth and a continuous wetting is not required and thixotrophic solutions which are special type of gels it's not a normal gel but a special type of gels so what is that speciality is it has high viscosity under storage conditions and it becomes fluid under condition of stress so when we apply it to the tooth we apply some pressure it becomes fluid and it enters to the interdental spaces so that is thixotrophic solution this is a fluoride vehicles commonly used in professional methods and oh, we have seen uh, prophylactic paste so it has uh, fluorides when we do prophylax uh, the tooth might lose its a uh, little bit of fluoride content from the topper layer so it can be replenished if we do a post prophylactic paste application and foam is like uh, it minimizes the risk of fluoride over dosage and maintain the efficacy okay so foam we can apply so it is uh, basically lighter than conventional gel and very uh, little amount is required so it can be easily penetrated into the interproximal area and uh, it doesn't require any suction that is the biggest advantage of foam application next is fluoride varnish and commonly we have two types of varnish the one is durafat and fluor protector so the advantage of varnish is the increasing the time of contact between enamel surface and uh, the fluoride agent because it uh, adheres to the tooth surface uh, for a such a longer period so there is a lot of uh, time for action of this fluoride agents with the enamel surface so Durafat is a product with 22,600 ppm and Fluor Protector is another product which has a less ppm that is 7,000 <coughs> sorry and Carox is another fluoride concentration which has a lesser than uh, Durafat uh, but has equal efficacy which is one of the product we used for prevention of uh, dental caries so fluoride application this is a uh, paint on technique this is how we do paint painting so it's just like uh, using a brush 
we paint the teeth surface. So fluoride toothpaste are commonly available uh, toothpaste uh, contains uh, fluoride. So fluoride toothpaste are into the market around 50s and 60s. So once the fluoride uh, toothpaste are into the market, slowly the systemic water fluidation is uh, vanished from the history because uh, most of the plants were closed because the effect of systemic and uh, topical wear in preventing dental caries were almost same so i had to spend a lot of money for installation of a systemic rotation because we have seen already how much cost uh, it requires for a plant setup so the same effect can be obtained by using a toothpaste so saliva also has uh, fluorides so let's see what are the basic three uh, solutions commonly used in uh, topical fluorides that the first one is uh, neutral sodium fluoride acidulated phosphate fluoride or IPF and stannous fluoride okay, it can be applied either by paint on technique so this is a paint on technique we paint on the teeth surface by using a brush or tray technique we apply the material we load the material into tray and apply it okay So aqua solution can be painted and a viscous gel can be used in a tray. So let's see what are the three methods, three compounds. So the first one is uh, neutral sodium fluoride. So for that is uh, two percentage of sodium fluoride, which gives a reduction of 30 percentage of dental caries. So it is prepared by dissolving 20 grams of sodium fluoride in 1 liter of distilled water so 20 gram we put in 1 liter we get sodium fluoride so that is known as Nutsen's technique so the basic procedures are we have to clean the teeth and apply it for 3 to 4 minutes we leave it for drying uh, for 3 to 4 minutes so it gets its maximum concentration so beyond four minutes there is no point for the maximum concentration of this fluoride on the two surface be can be obtained within four minutes but the procedure has to be repeated at uh, different intervals that is a second third and fourth application will be there after one week interval so we have to apply uh, at one week interval so there will be four times application of this Nutsen's technique that is 2 percent sodium fluoride so this four visit procedure is commonly seen in 3 7 11 and 13 years because it coincides with the eruption of different groups of primary and permanent teeth this is very important because at three years there is primary molars seven uh, permanent incisors and molars 11 and 13 uh, canines and premolars so this has to be applied on recently erupted tooth to utilize the 10 percentage post eruptive mineralization sodium fluoride and it is a basically stable product and we can uh, store it in a plastic container uh, taste is well accepted by uh, the patients and it is uh, non-irritating to gingiva it does not cause uh, tooth discoloration but the main problem is it has to be repeated at four intervals of one week gap that is the most uh, uh, commonly uh, commonly reported disadvantage of this neutral sodium fluoride because it is not applied uh, annually or semi-annually it is applied at weak intervals and that has to be at four times and there should be application at different age groups that is 3 7 11 and 13 if it is applied uh, for the same person it has to be done 16 times so each year four times at one 
week interval. So the second product is stannous flow rate. So it's most commonly used at 8%. Okay, so the 2% sodium flow rate or it is known as neutral sodium flow rate. Second one is stannous flow rate 8%. So this is prepared by 0.8 grams is dissolved in 10 ml of distilled water in a plastic container and it has to be prepared freshly and there is no stability. If you are using it for a patient, you have to prepare it at the moment and use it. You cannot prepare and keep it for the next patient. So it is like 0.8 grams in 10 ml of water whereas sodium fluoride was uh, like 20 grams in 1 liter of water. 20 grams in 1 liter of water whereas stannous fluoride is 0.8 gram in 10 ml of water okay so technique is same you have to keep it for four minutes you have to dry the tooth keep cotton rolls isolate it properly then apply it for four minutes so it reaches its maximum concentration and uh, you can repeat the application at every six months not like one week interval for four times like we seen in sodium fluoride it has to be applied uh, for twice that is six months interval for the one patient there is no age uh, category what we have seen in sodium fluoride so the four minute uh, theory i have told you because the amount of fluoride reaches on the top of uh, surface by four minutes so even if you apply for eight minutes there is no point maximum concentration is achieved within four minutes so four minutes is the ideal time so advantage is only two application is needed unlike uh, four applications <laughs> and the base when the disadvantages are it is not stable you have to freshly prepare for each patient and it is quite as stringent and its taste is a little odd and application is unpleasant so there is a reports of tissue irritation and pigmentation of teeth so none of these are available uh, these are present in sodium fluoride so this is not stable unpleasant tissue irritation and gives pigmentation so advantages advantages are just like we have only one or two appointments in a year so the last one is apf or acidulated phosphate uh, fluoride so it is prepared by 20 grams of sodium fluoride in one liter of phosphoric acid that is 0.1 molar 20 grams in one liter of 0.1 molar phosphoric acid then add 50 percentage of hydrofluoric acid then adjust the pH at 3 and fluoride concentration at 1.23. This is known as Brutfall solution. This is known as Muller's solution. Okay. This is Muller's technique. The first one was Nutsen's technique. Stannous fluoride is Muller's technique. And the last one is Brutfall solution. So this is prepared by 20 grams in 1 liter 0.1 molar phosphoric acid. Then 50% hydrofluoric acid is added pH 3 concentration 1.23 same method apply samely there is just like a sinus fluoride twice in a year uh, and keep it for four minutes commonly used in gels so gel uh, applied by tray method uh, sodium fluoride and sinus fluoride apply by paint on technique just like painting this is applied in gels that is tray technique so four minute uh, period is also same here and the tray uh, we apply the material into tray and keep it uh, using a saliva ejector to control the uh, water contamination so this is tray technique we fill it uh, one fourth of the tray uh, height wise then we apply it like this maxilla and mandible and keep it for four minutes so advantages is just like sana fluoride 2 application in here and gel preparation 
sorry gel preparation uh, is not like uh, flu that sodium fluoride and stannous fluoride where tray technique is being used and the cost of application is reduced disadvantages is uh, practical difficulties are there and it is very acidic because of pH 3 and it cannot be stored in glass so just compare this, this percentage was 2 percentage 8 percentage and 1.23 percentage of fluoride ppm is 9000 almost 20000 and here it is 12300 ph in sodium fluoride it was neutral here it was uh, 2.4 to 2.8 almost acidic and it is also acidic and sodium fluoride total 16 application pour at one week interval at 3 7 11 and 13 in years that is four years each year for application total 16 application this is biannually this is also biannually Sanus fluoride has a lot of uh, disadvantages to pigmentation gingival irritation uh, freshly uh, need to be prepared very freshly like that and most of the teeth uh, most of the products uh, gives a 30 percent age reduction so the remaining products are dentifrice small prints and gels dentifrice commonly uh, we apply uh, uh, the most uh, most of the toothpaste has fluoride um, our trains us, uh, we can uh, give it uh, for children under 6 years of age it can be rinsed uh, it will uh, give caries protection then uh, methods is nothing but uh, 5 ml uh, should be rinsed uh, before bed and switch uh, between teeth uh, for a 60 seconds Okay, so that's all about uh, topical fluorides. So the most important things are this one, sodium fluoride, stannous fluoride and APF. So stannous fluoride has most disadvantages and we need to remember this table, percentage, PPM and pH frequency of application. Okay, I'll come up with a new topic that is uh, prevention of dental caries by fluoride in my next session. Thank you.